spiritual life on this earth, Supreme Master Ching Hai teaches us the highest method, the Kuan Yin method, which will enable our souls to be liberated from the cycle of birth and death. And in our daily life, Supreme Master Ching Hai reminds us to live a meaningful saint's life in purity and compassion. She shares with us the art of cooking vegetarian cuisine so that we may bring a warm and loving atmosphere to our families and friends. Vegetarian cuisine is not only nutritious but also helps our consciousness to be in harmony with nature and filled with love for all beings in the universe. Supreme Master Ching Hai encourages and promotes vegetarianism as the noble way of living. She personally designed the Alternative Living Flyer and launched a global campaign to share this peaceful and loving message to the world. If we want to truly lead a life of love thy neighbor, the neighbors, including our animal friends, especially they harm us in no way. They only beautify our life and they are loving and they make our life more lively, colorful and interesting. We should preserve them, watch them, love them, enjoy their presence. God has made it clear, he said, I made all the animals to befriend you and help you. Through her teachings, millions of people have become vegetarians or are changing their ways of thinking in regards to the sentient nature of our animal friends. With heartfelt gratitude, we sincerely thank Supreme Master Ching Hai for setting aside her precious time to share with us these wonderful vegetarian dishes and easy cooking tips. We invite you to join us on Between Master and Disciples for a gift of love, simple and nutritious cooking with Supreme Master Ching Hai, featuring rice noodle and tofu snack. Hi guys. We're going to prepare some uh, very quick little snacks or lunch for yourself. Very simple, there's no need to learn even. I'm just reminding you how to. Okay. We have here the noodle, hmm? Vietnamese or Chinese rice noodle. You can buy a little bigger or this size of the noodle thread. You can buy them anywhere in Chinese shop or even in supermarket. Yeah. Rice sticks, they call it. <laughs> Actually, when you boil it, it becomes soft. If you have fresh noodle, rice noodle, it's fine too. And suppose you don't have any rice noodle, you can have even, you know, those uh, Chinese uh, long sticks, Chinese spaghettis. Yeah, it's also fine. But this tastes uh, different, a little ham, huh? rice noodle, and uh, wheat noodles a little bit different. Okay, today we're cooking rice noodle snacks or lunch. Quick lunch, nutritious, simple, and quick. You can prepare it maybe in around five minutes. Okay, I'm boiling water now. We're waiting for water to boil. Meanwhile, I'm doing something else like washing lectures like this. Yeah, washing tomatoes, washing coriander, and washing my spring onions. Whatever herbs you like to put in, you can prepare it right now. Okay, while well, we're waiting for the water to boil. But the thing is, uh, you don't even need any of this. Just noodle is fine. Noodle and lectures is fine. Or noodle and coriander is fine. Or noodle alone. <laughs> or noodle with spring onion, just for the taste. Otherwise, there's not necessary for so many stuff. I'll show you. You can also add some fresh tofu. 
into your noodle, okay? The water is already boiling, I'm going to drop the noodle in it, okay? Two pieces like that, yeah, would be enough for one person or even less. I'm going to put a little bit more in, okay, so my people also want to eat it. I'm sure they would, <laughs> no doubt. When you put the noodle inside, mm. you turn it around a little bit because sometimes the water doesn't cover completely the noodle and under is soft and on top is still dry and uncooked. Okay. Now you drop all the noodle in the boiling water. Yeah. They're already in there. So see, now the, the water already reboiled. Yeah. We cover it and turn off, turn off the heater. After you turn off the cooker, it might be still very hot. You don't have to cook it all the way. You just turn it off and cover it for five minutes and it should be cooked by itself. But it's still hot, the oven. Maybe it depends on what oven you have. If it's electric cooker, then you have to pour out the pot until half of uh, the pot is uh, on the cooking spot and half of it outside, yeah, in the cold area. Otherwise, it will be overboiled because even though you turn off the electric cooker, it is still hot, yeah, all right. You could even put it out completely and leave it there for five minutes. It will be cooked by itself, save energy. Meanwhile, you can... Uh, Prepare the tofu. Mm. You can rinse a little bit under filter water. Yeah. If you have a filter under your tap, it's very good. It's like a mineral water, yeah? We fix this in so we have filter water all the time. We don't always buy the mineral water. <laughs> I normally use very less. That's utensil, but it's better like this for children to do. Okay? All you do is slide the tofu into thinner pieces. Right. Like that. Huh? You see? Small slice. Thin slice. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. And then leave it aside. I check if the noodle is already soft. Sometimes you just leave it three minutes, it's even soft already. But five minutes uh, is okay too, yeah? Still noodle in the water, yeah? To make it uh, become more loosened, yeah? Yeah, okay, that's good enough. Just steer it because it was in a block, remember? Now if you steer it like that, it will be loose. Meanwhile, I have already prepared a little spring onion and coriander and lettuce. And I will put it on the table. You don't even need all this. But it's nice to have fresh salad, uh, fresh vegetable. Okay. The noodles are already soft and ready. So I uh, put in a little lettuce and stir it around so that the lettuce go into the hot water and become softer. Yeah, okay, that should be enough. Should be softer. And you put the tofu in there also. Warm up. <laughs> you don't even need to do that. Yeah, you can also have the tofu cold on top of your noodle. It's uh, up to you. Mm -hmm. You can have it warm or cold. All right. There. Then we're going to drain noodle. When you drain the noodle, you toss it a little bit, huh? Gently, so that all the water come out. Okay. There. It's already all out. Mm. 
And then we put it there. So we're going to prepare it in a plate to eat. Okay, we're going to place a noodle in the, in the dish now. Pick the tofu and put it on the other side like that. Or it doesn't matter, you can just put it on the plate without discrimination. You can eat this cold even. So if whatever left over, you can wrap it, leave it in the fridge, and eat it cool later. Or just leave it outside the fridge even. That should be okay for now. And then you put it on the table. Uh, it's very simple. Look like this. Yeah? Right. Then you have to add something on it. This is all the spices we need, or oh, even don't need all this. This is uh, chili sauce, optional. Right. You put as much as you need, huh? but it's hot, be careful. And a few dash of uh, pepper, black pepper, grey pepper or white pepper. And a few drop of Maggi. That's that. Okay. And there you are. Voila. The rest we are uh, placing in a bowl here. And we can have more of it. So, okay. This is a finished product. Mm -hmm. My people are busy, so I can't invite them now. They're taking care of uh, dogs and birds. It's their feeding and outing time. So I just have to enjoy myself and maybe invite them later. Yeah, this is your noodle dish. And we have some frozen fruit. <laughs> of course, it's summer, and this is Christianthemum drink. You know, Christianthemum flower is very healthy and good okay for summer, refreshing and cool. It's uh, like you drink uh, chamomile tea, yeah, similar, but it tastes very, very fragrant. I'm all alone in my kitchen today. Nice for a change. You don't have to share my space with my dogs. But they are coming in a minute, don't worry. <laughs> if I don't let them in, they will be scratching at the door. I don't know what kind of dogs they are. I thought dogs want to be free, you know, outside and enjoying <laughs> outdoor, but not my dogs. They just want to stick close, very, very close. <laughs> so they always hang around in front of the door if I'm here. So I just have to let them in. That's what it is. Wow, I cannot wait for them. I save some for them to come in and eat later. Their dogs are coming already. Oh, so long. Yeah. My dogs are coming in now one by one. We have to wipe them with solution water and then just a damp cloth with only water afterward. They all have to be clean because they want to jump all over on my sofa bed and everything. And it's better for their health to be clean. 
It smells nicer also when you kiss them and hug them. <laughs> why my dogs mostly healthy. Hey, I saved some food for you guys, okay? Thank you. Thank you <laughs> I uh, can't wait till I taste them a little bit, just to see if it's good. It's really good. The others are coming, right? Yes. You guys clean their ears also, yeah? Yeah, not too deep inside, but with the finger, wrap around with the cloth and clean their ears and around their face also, yeah? You know, right? Yes. It's all clean now? Okay. Come on, so so. So, so big boy, hi big boy. I want some water now. Yeah, I'll put some ice in it first, okay? Okay, we put this ice in, uh, in the bowl and fill it with filter water. Huh? Mm, that's right. Oh, very <laughs> crack, you hear that? Yeah, very big crack. Okay, so long. It's done. Come, come, baby. Yeah, good boy. Here, yeah, cool, cool water. Look at that, how cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, not me, the water. The water. It's cool, huh? So long. It's not very sunny today, but still it's summer, eh? It's hot. So we put fans on for the dog and open all the windows, okay? Same with the birds, eh? Yeah. Did they eat well today? Yes. Good. All of them, yeah? Yes, Master. Yes, they did. Good. Wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. I'm going to give them some... Uh, Veggie bone to chew now to clean their teeth. And we'll brush their teeth in the evening. Oh, okay. Always, yeah? You know, right? Yes, Master. I hope you will enjoy this simple cooking the way I would. Yeah, it's very simple, nutritious, and plenty full of energy. Very little calorie and Lots and lots of love, because, you know, it's a very vegan diet. It's a vegan meal, and there's no blood on the table. It's peace, it's peace, and it's peace. Peace and loving kindness manifested on your plate. And it saved the planet if you eat this every day. I mean, similar. <laughs> I mean, you eat this same same every day, but you can. It wouldn't hurt you. Okay. Now, enjoy making it. Enjoy your meal, and don't forget to thank heaven before you eat. That will bless your food, and you will feel happier, healthier. Not just that, but we have to be grateful for what we have. See you. Lots and lots of love and blessings from heaven to you.
was a pleasure to have you with us today for a gift of love, simple and nutritious cooking with Supreme Master Ching Hai on Between Master and Disciples. Good People, Good Works is up next after Noteworthy News here on Supreme Master Television. May all beings live in peace, love, and respect as fellow friends.